Hello, teachers. Here are some grammar. Yes, the student's least favorite skull games. If this is your first time showing up here, then welcome to my second episode of GG. If you're dying to see my first episode though, die no more. I put the link in the description below. Okay, in today's video, I'm gonna tackle some simple present tense issues, or any tense really. The problem with this tense is that it's backed with a lot of things students need to remember and practice. So this is what I usually do. I start teaching them how to use the verb to be in present simple tense. I begin with showing them sentences that have no verbs at all, and then ask them if these sentences are correct. I'm evil, I'm sorry. And while I'm doing that, I try to break down the sentences like these are the pronouns, these are the objects, and finally I hit them with uh, sorry, all of these are wrong sentences. By using this evil method, I make students remember that it's always wrong to bail on your verbs. You can show them a picture like this one and ask them to make a sentence using the present simple tense or any tense really. She is a chef. Can you think of an adjective? I added a link if you want to download the entire lesson. Yes, I might be evil with my students sometimes, but I'm always generous to my fellow teachers. My second activity is for making yes-no questions using the simple present tense or the present progressive tense. If you're playing this online, first, God be with you. Second, on the chat, upload this document. You can put them into groups or pairs. Let them take turns picking a character and tell the rest of the students to make yes-no questions to guess the mysterious character. The documents has some example questions as well. If you're playing this in in a classroom, then print out the characters, cut them into cards, and basically do the exact thing. Again, if you want to download this document, link is in the description below. Now comes the second annoying part of the simple present tense, which is using the actual verbs. One very common yet super cool activity is letting students talk about their daily routines. In order to make it enjoyable for all students, I give them papers with a grid and I ask them to draw letter items to describe their routines so other students get engaged as well. I mean at least with the drawings. This is a six square grid, but you can definitely add more. If you want them to practice the third singular subject, I have two very simple activities. One is using the grids from the previous game and instead of the students talking about their routines, let them switch their papers with their partner or what I really really like to do here is I collect all the papers and shuffle them and randomly give each student a paper. They should describe this person's routine while the rest of us try to guess who. The other way is giving students ready filled grids like this one and ask them to create a routine for this person. So here they can get a little bit imaginative. The link for the grids fold or empty, yup, in the description below. Okay, here is a little bamboozle warm-up activity. In this activity, divide the class into two teams and teams take turns, making full sentences using the simple present tense. I like to do this activity on the next day of teaching the lesson, like kind of revision. Our last activity is the speaking slash grammar mix. I love this one because they get to talk about themselves spontaneously for things they 100% do all the time while, you know, enjoying these beautiful pictures. Link of both games. Time to say goodbye. I hope you enjoyed this GG 
episode and stay tuned for the coming episodes. Thank you for your time, teachers.